Well, leaving the European Union is essential if we want to be self-governing, independent and sovereign in our own land. And this affects Gibraltar as much as it does the rest of the United Kingdom. The reality is that the EU is a political union and gradually it's taking away the right of British people to determine their own future, make their own laws. The EU can overrule our own parliament, our own Supreme Court and indeed even the Queen herself. If EU law says it must happen, EU law is supreme. I disagree with that and I think that if Gibraltar and the whole of the United Kingdom want to retain their independence as a free people, we cannot be in a political union with Europe. What we want is trade and cooperation, sensible arrangements with our neighbours, but not political control from Brussels. All the political parties and the main representative organisations in Gibraltar are united in the view that we should stay in the EU. Does you disagreeing with this put your membership as a part of the Gibraltar group into question? Not at all. Because I'm so pro-Gibraltar, I'm coming here to ensure the people of Gibraltar understand the issues, understand what's at stake. Our whole democracy is literally at stake. If there's no sovereign Britain, will there be a Gibraltar? What will happen to Gibraltar in 10, 20, 30 years' time if the UK government no longer has real sovereignty and real power to do anything? And so the people of Gibraltar need to be aware of the truth of this. This is an alarming situation. We want to restore the right of all British people to make their own choice. Self-determination is so important to the people of Gibraltar. Well, I can tell you that it's also important to the people of the United Kingdom as well. And we are no longer prepared to be part of something which removes our right to determine our own destiny. So self-determination for Gibraltar and for the United Kingdom. Our Chief Minister Fabian Picardo has called today's event a publicity stunt. What would you say to that? Well, Fabian has a different view to myself. Um, he believes that Gibraltar and the UK should vote to stay in the European Union. But today is more about informing the people of Gibraltar, imparting the information. Because I'm talking to people around here. They don't understand what's really going on. They don't live in mainland UK and understand just how much power Brussels now has over Britain and how fed up the British people are with this and how worried we are that if it carries on we won't be a sovereign nation any longer. So this is more than a publicity stunt. This is coming here to genuinely have a dialogue with the people of Gibraltar. I want to hear their worries, their concerns and uh, what they think about the issue. And I'm quite surprised how many people have come up to me and said, we agree with you. We think we should leave the EU and we don't want to be controlled by Brussels. So actually, I think there are different opinions in Gibraltar, just as there are different opinions in the United Kingdom. But the ultimate decision must be, surely, to defend our democracy, to give the British people, whether we are in England, Scotland, Wales, Northern Ireland or Gibraltar, the right of our own self-determination. And you can't do that if you're in a political union with the EU. You've mentioned that if Gibraltar vote to leave the EU, we could potentially get an MP in the UK Parliament. Under what authority do you have to say this? Well, this is what I'm saying should happen. I'm not saying this will happen. I do not understand how we can have a territory such as Gibraltar and laws and decisions, treaties can be signed for Gibraltar, and yet there is no democratically elected representative for Gibraltar in the UK Parliament. I don't think that's democratic. I think that it is high time Gibraltar was given one Member of Parliament elected by the people of Gibraltar to be the voice of Gibraltar in the UK Parliament. I'm happy to do it, so are many MPs of all political parties, because we love Gibraltar and we cherish that special relationship we have. But if we believe in democracy, surely the people here should choose their own representative and have the right to speak out in the chamber of the Parliament that has the ultimate sovereign power over Gibraltar. And so I do believe Gibraltar should have an MP. It's long overdue and I hope that that will happen. I will certainly continue to campaign for it. But realistically, David Cameron is behind the Inc campaign. Why would he grant us full representation in the UK if we voted to leave it? I can't speak for David Cameron. Uh, after the referendum, it's 
very different politics, whatever happens with the referendum. Uh, David Cameron is Prime Minister at the moment. If uh, he loses the referendum, I don't know what the situation will be. He may want to continue, he may go. Uh, we'll certainly have a new Prime Minister before too long because he's already said he's going to stand down before the next election. So I think that David Cameron actually is very pro-Gibraltar. He's been a huge supporter of Gibraltar. And I think if the Gibraltarian people said, we want an MP, I think he would listen. And maybe it is possible. Okay, thanks for your time.